everyone what's going on happy sunday good morning what's going on everyone how's it going thank you thank you all for being here happy sunday so there's been some i would say fear and that always goes, I guess that always happens whenever the market goes down in terms of price and then everyone that's mining is, not everyone, okay, a lot of people will understand, you know, that it's still amazing right now. But for maybe new people coming in and, you know, they're getting into mining and uh, they got, maybe got in this year, they're probably comparing it to how mining was back in the beginning of this year, maybe the middle uh, March or April of this year which has been incredibly amazing okay and now yes it's definitely not as it was back between january and may of 2021 okay 
uh, it is now September of 2021 as of we're doing this live stream. So it's it's still amazing, guys. Just to give you perspective here, I just wanna I, I just wanna give you the perspective for people that are new and coming in and maybe are like in fear of what's happening right now or seeing their profits go down. You know, network hash rate for Ethereum is continuing to go up, and it's just like oh, everyone's getting less Ethereum. Well. That's what happens. That's what happens in a time like this. During the, during bull runs in crypto, uh, crypto mining, as it becomes more, di as more people come in, it's going to be more difficult. So, it, just to give you perspective here of how profitability was, just for those that care about profitability, that is, and yields. Okay, when you were mining, I'd say a, a year and a half ago, maybe a year and six or seven months ago. So. I can I can give you I can bring you guys to a video where I did how are mining profits now and I started this back in 2019 August of 2019. So before the run up, I know that mining profitability was just amazing during the DeFi summer of 2020. Okay, which was I believe it started in July. But before July of 2020, let me tell you. An RX 580 rig was making nothing, like pennies, like we're talking about pennies. Uh, let me let's bring you to let's say April 6th of 2020. Let me just see here. Um, uh, let's see here. So, okay, just to give you the perspective here, August, uh, April 6th of 2020. Okay, this is last year, about a year and a half ago. All right, so I show you here that I am doing a uh, 6 by RX 580 rig. Okay, 180 mega hash, 720 watts. Okay. And during that time, those six RX 580s was only making, after your 10 cent kilowatt hour, 45 cents. Okay? I, I just want to give you the perspective here. 45 cents, but during that time, April 6th of 2020, that rig alone was yield, able to yield 0.0143 Ethereum. Okay? Which was amazing. You're yielding that much Ethereum. Now, come today, okay, so let's do the exact same thing, and I think I did 720 watts here, but it doesn't matter, 10%, uh, 10, uh, 10 cent kilowatt hour, gonna hit calculate as of today, guys, as of today, look at this, $9.39 in fiat, okay, this is today, guys, this is this is a 6x RX 580 rig, all right? So, but here's the kicker. Here's the thing that, that maybe some uh, uh, new miners that are coming in also have to understand is you're going to be getting less of the Ethereum. You're, you're, you're mining less. Sure, you're getting more dollar value because uh, relative to what the price of Ethereum, all crypto has gone up this past year, uh, the network hash rate, the difficulty hasn't gone up enough to take away all of this mining profits here this 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 profitability that you're seeing here so i i think that the network hash rate it says here 685 terahash needs to go up like three to four times more i don't know six times more to be like what the profitability was back in april 6th of 2020 okay 45 cents on a six by 580 rig but you're yielding 0 0.0143 ethereum versus 0.0037 Ethereum. So does that does that give you guys a bit of uh, th that's what I wanted to start off this live stream with just some perspective of you know it's like a it's the mining profits are nice right now because of the price of Ethereum but we are getting much less we are we are yielding much less Ethereum. So it depends how you look at it it's because of the price of Ethereum right now is is just way higher than what um, is way higher than what it was before relative to what the network uh, hash rate is uh, how much mining hardware in the world is able to mine ethereum right now or people that are mining ethereum on their gpus asics there's there just hasn't been that enough hardware that has been turning on enough to fit uh, to make mining profitability even less right so as as the difficulty is going to get higher depending if the price of Ethereum is the same, then you're going to see this dollar value, your, your mining daily profit value go down.
Okay, so all right That's it guys. That's all I wanted to uh, begin with So uh, let me know your guys' thoughts. What, what's what's everyone? What's everyone thinking here? Let, 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 let's talk about AMA time guys that you guys can ask me you guys can ask me anything and uh, Yeah, so hopefully that gives you guys some perspective of what happened back then and then and then now so Okay, Yashnik. What's going on? What's going on, man? What's going on? Crypto Crypto Jedi. How's it going? Um ho Neo Neo quit toxic. Hodlers are sitting pretty right now. Hundred percent. If you were mining April 6th or even before even throughout the whole bear market, right? Like I said, your mining rigs were yielding a lot more Ethereum. 0 0.1 0 0.0143 versus the 0 0.0043 that I showed you on what to mine now or 37 0 0.0037 on the same rig a year and a half ago so if you were hodling all of that ethereum you were you're you're just laughing you're you're just laughing right now so congrats to you congrats to all of us that were mining the past two years right it's it's been it's been very it's it's probably been very rewarding for a lot of those that have kept on mining throughout the bear market okay actually there's one thing i want to talk about for people that are new now for people that have come in in this year and have seen very nice profitability numbers and maybe maybe those that have not paid off their hardware yet imagine uh not imagine i wonder for those that you know, potentially, if the bear market comes now, if, if it's coming, I'm not saying it is, uh, who knows, nobody knows, is, you know, if the bear market comes, then are you going to still continue to mine during the bear market? W will you will you be mining during the bear market? You know what, I'm going to do a, a poll here. Uh, let, me, let me end this one. I did, mining profitability is still amazing compared to a year and a half ago. 50% uh, of you said yes. 14% uh, of you said no, and then 36% of you said mining this year, has, so I have no idea. So I'm going to end this poll. I'm going to end this poll. Let's do a new one. Let's do a new one, shall we? Um, will you continue to mine during the bear market? This is going to be a simple yes and no question. Or wait, I can add another one. I cannot pay for my electrical bill. There you go. I no, I won't be able. Oh, that's too long. Is that too long? Ah, damn, I won't be. Uh, yeah, I cannot. Yeah, uh, sir, cannot pay for my electrical bill. Sure. All right, let's see, because it's really dependent from what i've been I, I definitely understand that everyone's financial situation is different and so people that are gonna be mining during the bear market if they're barely profitable like even if i was breaking even on a rig if it was making like zero zero profitability and i would 100 percent still be mine even if i was making le maybe 30 cents less burning 30 cents i would probably still be mining um I, I just prefer that way rather than buying it. That's uh, that's just me. I'm just I'm addicted to crypto mining, so <laughs> uh, Okay, let's see what let's see what you guys voted here. Yes. Oh, a whole bunch of you said yes. But there's some of you, six percent of you just said I cannot pay for my electrical bill. So that see, like it, not everyone is, is in a is in a, a great financial situation. It depends on your financial situation if you can continue or not. So, it totally depends. Totally depends. Max voltage. Uh, I, I should uh, add a choice. If not profitable, I will not mine, but will buy crypto instead. Yeah. I should have. This is a mining channel, though. We're not, we're not, we're mining only. No. <laughs> mine hard or don't mine at all. Guntus Vitolins, 2016, 2013, whenever he started mining. 
Uh, that's too funny. So, yeah. If mining profits start getting quite low, then a lot of things, uh, the, uh, variables come into play here. It's the difficulty is going to go up. Difficulties will go way up, especially when Ethereum uh, moves to um, uh, when the merge happens. All right, turning off proof of work. Um, so that's going to be fun for all of the other coins. And uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know. I think I did a live stream a couple weeks ago asking, you know, what 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 are the possible scenarios? Like other than other than the obvious one which is when Ethereum goes to merge, uh, turn off proof of work and go to proof of stake or whatever. Um, everyone's going to be flocking over to all these other coins. But we talked about the different scenarios, not just that one, all right? That's the obvious one, flocking to other coins. The other one is what about like getting into other parts of crypto mining like you know litecoin dogecoin f like god forbid who knew that dogecoin would have gone up like two thousand percent or whatever it did and now dogecoin has its own ecosystem now there's literally tons of companies building asics just for dogecoin mining well you know you can merge my you can do um uh, merge mining uh, litecoin and dogecoin of course so you can get litecoin and dogecoin so there's there's a whole other like ecosystem like whole community just for dogecoin now and so i i feel like there's gonna be definitely a, a bunch of people gonna be flocking over to asic mining as sad as that is to say i think asic mining i mean it's been it's been around for a long time bitcoin mining has been around for such a long time bitcoin mining is like the biggest asic mining uh uh i don't know how to say it like a like there's huge com huge companies based around bitcoin mining and so comparing it to what's gonna what what's gonna come then gpu mining there, there's a chance that you know gpu mining is will then just not be relevant not be as relevant as maybe asic mining because relative to what the network hash rates are going to be, uh, the difficulty for Litecoin, the price of Litecoin, the price of Dogecoin, and any other ASIC, mine, ASIC miningable coin out there, Dash, uh, uh, what other ASIC mining coins are there? Z, Zcash, Pirate Chain, Pirate Coin, you know, with the Equihash. I don't even know why I'm, I'm we got to go, we got to go to ASIC miner value here, but I hate to say it, I hate to say it, that ASICs, there's a bunch of other coins you can mine with these things and I'm not saying I'm promoting ASICs uh, I'm just saying that it's gonna be another Scenario for some people that are gonna be investing into ASIC mining rather than GPU mining Because right now with Ethereum talking about moving off of proof-of-work People are gonna be looking into the next thing and it look and who knows it could be ASICs nobody knows maybe uh, and then another thing Okay, let's just what if Ravencoin, Ethereum Classic, Ergo, Beam, Vertcoin, Quark Chain, Etho, one of these coins just goes pair up, like just goes like a hundred X. Like that's a scenario, right? That that that's a scenario that could happen. Who knows? Who 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 knows, right? So, like, I remember we saw Etho go up like two hundred percent or something last year or this year, this year. And if you were mining Etho, you're building your bags during the bear market. You would have been, you would have turned out to be a millionaire, literally, because you were able to mine like 10,000 Etho a day. And Etho went up to like 25, 30 cents or something. I don't even, I don't, I don't have it up here, but it went up something crazy. So, Rio, Aeon, who knows? Aeon could go to the moon. Nobody knows. No, nobody knows. Nobody absolutely knows. Ah, uh, um,. All right, I'm done. I'm done ranting. That's all I wanted to say because I, I've been seeing a lot of people fear, a lot of fear, a lot of uh, fud, a lot of people scared of my rigs aren't making as much anymore. If you compared it to like a year and a half ago, guys, that it's still amazing compared to April back April 6th of 2020, like 45 cents on RX 580 rig, and now an RX 580 rig is about 10 bucks. So. 
It's still great. It's still great. Just to give you that perspective. Okay. Uh, Rado, Red Panda Money, how much was a used GTX 1060 6GB back then? Uh, I would say during the bear market, uh, I could buy one for like 70 bucks. I made the stupid mistake, I sold my 1060s uh, this uh, 2020, I think. I sold 12 of them for $1,000. 12. 12 of them. 1060 6GB cards for a thousand dollars take that in take that in right now I could have I should have just held on to those cards and up until now or May or something of this year and sold them for like four hundred dollars each I sold like I had like 24 1060s I sold them for like probably combined only like two thousand dollars combined <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake. Uh, okay. Um, 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 um. Alright, guys. You guys are asking questions. Let's go. ATX expert. Red pen of mine. Depends on Elon Musk. Yeah, there you go. See? He's the one who promoted Dogecoin. And look at Dogecoin and Litecoin mining now. It's it's extremely profitable. It's extremely profitable. There's a whole ecosystem behind it now. Like, I mean, not that there wasn't. There's more so now because there's companies like Bitmain, Goldshell. Um, I think Innosilicon, they're making a Litecoin or Dogecoin miner. Look at this. Bitmain L7. That's supposed to come out in November. This thing is going to destroy um, the gold shell uh, LT5 Pro, which uh, you guys know I received one a couple weeks ago from Crypto Miner Bros. It's it's amazing. It's it's really good. LT5. All these all these Litecoin Dogecoin ASICs are coming out of the woodworks because it's profitable now. It's profitable now. So, um, Dark Genesis Red Pen of Mining. Have you have hello? You have advertising for that Octominer X12. To what extent is the company trustworthy? Well, I don't know what you mean by that, Dark Genesis. Um, Octominer has been around, I think, since 2017. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what. What kind of ex uh, what kind of extent you're talking about? But uh, I received three of them, so I'm pretty sure it's trustworthy, in a sense. Um. Okay, uh, guys, holy. Okay, you guys are asking lots of questions. Let's go here. Hold on. Let me let's let's put you on the screen here. All right. Oh, thank you for the donation, Jeepman LS1. What do you think about mining KDA? KDA. What's KDA? What's KDA? Um, coin market cap. Oh, Kadena. Kad yeah, Kadena. Yes. Oh, yes, Kadena. Um, I've. I, I still have my IBLink BMK1 and holy crap Kadena just went up insane now a dollar eighty wow 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 okay I did not even okay I gotta go see how much my Kadena is worth <laughs> that's nuts wow that is nuts holy smoke okay anyways Anyways, going back to your guys' questions. Um, mad tra trades. Red Panda Mining, we as a community should choose a new crypto to mine, taking the first step in securing our future as miners, or are you going to mine it to the very end? Uh, mad trades, are you talking about Ethereum? Or, yeah, I'm I'm still mining Ethereum. I, I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm, I'm just sticking sticking with that uh, I, I'm actually doing Zilliqa as well um, dual mining um, I know there's been a lot of people asking Red Panda what's more profitable just mining Ethereum straight or doing dual mining uh, Ethereum and Zilliqa and to be honest I have absolutely no idea I have absolutely no idea so uh, I don't have a, a means to like calculate you know Depending on the price of Zilliqa goes to the moon or not, you know, it's going to really depend, right? Because right now, you're mining. if you're mining Zilliqa, you're getting hundreds of Zilliqa a day. 
and uh, maybe with Ethereum, if you're mining Ethereum direct, sure, you're going to get a little bit more, but who knows? I'm not sure if that, uh, you know, the cost comparison between mining Ethereum direct or mine dual mining Ethereum and Zilliqa. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think it's a big loss in my opinion, so... Uh, K spec 2000 by Red, Red Pen Money. You finally gonna take some profits on Kadena? Uh, I mean, I feel like I should then. Let's go to Coin. Let's go to Coin Gecko. I just want to see what. I I think the last time I checked, I had like. I think I had like twenty thousand Kadena or something. Oh my God! Holy crap! That is worth thirty four thousand. Are you serious? Wow. Okay. That IB link, okay, wow, that IB link BMK1 definitely paid itself off a million times over. Wow, that's nuts. That is nuts. That is nuts. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at that later. Um, next up, RPM, are you staking your ETH when proof of work ends? Uh, Midwest Miner, potent, yeah, probably. I, I, I definitely, uh, I definitely am wanting to try it. I don't know if I, I don't know how to do it yet I haven't really researched that um, I'm probably gonna do that on my second channel uh, I'm not I'm not gonna do any staking content on my main red panda mining channel uh, I do have another channel but um, yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try it we're gonna try it um, what do you think of Ravencoin light uh, mystic I I'm not getting into Ravencoin Lite. I just, I, I, are they even on Coin Gecko? They're not even on Coin Gecko yet. I, um, I, I, I'm into so many different projects. I, 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 my mind, my mind is, I'm so overwhelmed already. I, I can't, I can't get into Ravencoin Lite. That's it. I, 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 I got nothing against it, uh, other than. I'm I'm just sticking to my guns. I'm sticking to what I know so far. I, I'm I don't want to speculate. I'm already speculating on enough coins. I, I to me I'm just I'm not getting into Raven Coin Light. <laughs> um, okay, next question. Uh, Red Panda Staking. <laughs> maybe I should call it. Uh, maybe I should call the YouTube channel Red Panda Staking. That'd be really funny. <laughs> no, no, never mind. I, I don't know. Um, okay, next question. Um, uh, have you seen the new one to six splitters on AliExpress? One to Dave Jack, what's a one to six? One to six splitters. Wow, is this like a one PCIe to six PCIe splitter? That sounds terrible. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> Uh, let's see, 86% uh, of you said yes, and 88% of you said I cannot pay for my electrical bill. Nice. Um, ah, Tim Moore, great question. Red Pen of Mine, what do you think the effect of Sparkpool closing down will have? Um, that's a great question. Oh, man. Um, is... I... I is Sparkpool? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Ethermine's number one now. I think Sparkpool was higher than Ethermine uh, before, right? I think. I think it's. Uh, I think it's better. I think uh, Ethermine or Sparkpool is slowly closing down. Um, interesting. Uh, what kind of effect will it have? Well, I mean. Assuming most of the Chinese pools, Chinese miners mining Ethereum in China, if they are able to actually get out and mine to other pools, then good on them. But maybe Sparkpool may not be able to, uh, or maybe those, uh, the Great Firewall of China or whatever. I don't even know if there's some way people aren't using VPNs, you know, getting through it and uh, still be able to mine. Who knows? I'm not quite sure. 
Um, let's see here. All right, going back here. More questions, guys. What about Chia? I'm still doing the Chia. I'm. I think I got a 0.1 Chia payout the other day. I was gonna make a video, but it, I don't think anyone's really. No, none, none, none of you guys. Not many of you are interested on, in Chia on my channel, so that's why I haven't been. I haven't made any videos on Chia. Um. Will there ever be a red panda mining pool? Lissandro, no, never, never. I am not taking that risk. I do not want to be hacked and I don't want to be responsible for people's wallets. Um, uh, Sean ends. Red panda mining, didn't know I had the tag, but yeah, do you see difficulty dropping in the bear market? E of course. Of, co it happened. Yeah, of course. Difficulty drops all the time. Difficulty drops all the time during a bear market. It's just because there's going to be people, right, depending on their financial situation, if they'll be able to pay for the expenses or not, right? That's pretty much it. Like, there's people with, you know, 15 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents electrical. Those guys will not be able to mine. They, they, it doesn't, it won't make sense to them. It won't make sense to them. Um, holy cow, guys, there's a lot of questions here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to... Uh, Jamzy, Red Panda Mining, are you mining Flux? Oh, Jamzy, by the way, that power supply is coming to you, that you won. It's coming, Jamzy. Are you mining Flux? I am, yes. I actually did a solo... Uh, okay, I'll explain. I did a solo mining thing of Flux, and so I compared it to, uh, what I was mining on, um, Ethereum, and solo mining Flux was pretty good. It was a little bit better than mining Ethereum um, because a Flux has the parallel assets and so you're able to get another 22% because they also pay out in Ethereum, uh, KDA, KDA, Ethereum and Flux and I think two other projects that are coming, uh, Solana, Solana and some other ones. Um, Minerpool.org is able to uh, convert that those extra profits into Flux to your same address, okay? So it's, it was, it, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, I was thinking of making a video about it, um, but I didn't want to raise the difficulty and mining hash rate of flux because when that happens, then, then it won't be profitable. So I guess I can say it in the live stream here. I guess I can say it in the live stream. <laughs> uh, now every, now everyone in here is probably going to go mine, mine flux now. Um, yeah, I, I was wanting to make a video, but I didn't want to increase the difficulty, if that makes sense, because it it will like it literally every time if I would if I were to, if I were to talk about a project and saying it's oh you know it's yeah, it's forty percent thirty percent more profitable than mining Ethereum, you better believe most most people on my channel would probably flock over and mine it, and so that's going to increase the difficulty, and then. Everyone's gonna call me a liar because everyone moved over and they're like, Red Panda, I thought you said I'm supposed to make 30% more. Well, here's what happened. Hundred percent like whole thousands of you moved over, network difficulty went up, and though and so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how else to say it. Like that's <laughs> that's the reality. When someone when a when a when a YouTuber talks about a project and they say, you know, it's amazing, and then it's gonna people are gonna flock over to it. So. I don't want to, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. So, um, okay. Uh, all right. I, I, I wanted to scroll up. I think I saw, um, I, Yashnik, I hate you. Yashnik, get out of here. You think you'll finish in the top 50 in the Aeon, next Aeon community poker tournament? You, you bastard. I'm going to finish top five. You'll see. You'll see. Um, uh, let's see here. The hobbyist miner. You had a question. The hobbyist miner. What's up, buddy? I see you here. Red pen mining. How does your mining change as we enter fall versus summer? More raven, more, more raven that normal? Low electricity cost strategy? Uh, I, yeah, during the summer, hobbyist miner, I was, I, I was not mining a th uh, Ravencoin on my main, uh, my main rigs. Okay, uh, meaning my Ethereum rigs. Uh, I kept those on Ethereum. My Raven, the only cards that I was mining Ravencoin on is my RX 580 four gigabyte cards. 
okay? My RX 580 4GB cards, those are just boss on Ethereum, on Ravencoin. And, uh, yeah, so I, I, I have, like, I have a good bunch of them. I'm actually thinking of getting rid of them soon. Um, but, yeah, that my strategy is just has been Ethereum and Zilliqa on my 30 series cards, mainly. Um, Flux on my LHR cards right now. Uh, 580, 4 gigs, gonna be Ravencoin. I got some on Ethereum Classic as well. I'm all over the place, Hobbyist Miner. Thanks for that question, man. Um, let's see here. Could Tom's Berm Smiths, Red Panda Miner, could it be possible that there won't be a big, a big, won't be as a big bear, bear market as the last bear markets? ETH will go away, but even now, ETH isn't profitable coin or even number one. Uh, Tom's, th this was, Tom's, great question. Uh, that was a scenario I've also talked about. Uh, it was a live stream. Uh, some of you guys, we were, we were talking about that. And like, you know, let's say, let's say the prices of crypto continue to go up. Let's just say, right? Theoretically, like Bitcoin goes to 100K or something. I'm not saying it will, but that's going to bring up, that's going to bring up all of these other coins that you're going to see on what to mine. Like you're, you're going to see like relative to what the network hash rate is. They're, they're just like right now like the network hash rate for ethereum is 697 terahash and an rx 580 like look not even an rx 580 for 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 like oh man like we're talking about like let's go to a um do they even have the old gpu here there an r9 380 which i'm gonna have a video by the way about this gpu i just got one from nerd gears look this gpu alone makes 40 cents a day literally this r9 okay this r9 380 to give you perspective right now makes 40 cents a day after 10 cents kilowatt hour mining ethereum classic this april 6th april 6th of uh, april 7th of 2020 or april 6th of 2020 a six by rx 580 rig okay six by rx 580 rig was making 45 cents It just goes to show you there's there there hasn't been enough hardware out in the out in the out in the market to fill up the the amount of the fiat that's out in the world out in crypto right now to garner that profitability. So that R not wow. Compared RX 580 rig, a whole six by RX 580 rig back then was 45 cents. Now a single like 2013 GPU a GPU from 2013, an R9 380 is making 40 cents right now. That 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 just that just gives you gives you that perspective. Like, oh man. Um Okay, uh the true king, thank you for the donation. Bitcoin Z mine it will you can uh I don't know man. I don't know. I don't think so. Sure, maybe stick a rig stick a GPU to it. Sure. Um, but, uh, sorry, uh, I forgot who, who was asking that question. Um, Tom's, Tom's Bremsmiths. Yeah. So really there's many scenarios that's going to happen, right? If crypto goes up, then mining profitability is going to be even more, be is, is going to be even better. Right. But if the network hash rate for Ethereum, right, once they move to uh, proof of stake or whatever, uh, proof, proof of work, sorry, uh, proof of stake. Yeah. Proof of stake. Uh, let me just go RX 580. Let's just go typical RX 580. Six by RX 580. Calculate. Um, then yeah, they're gonna flock to other coins, right? There's, there's so many different scenarios we got. We, we 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 can we can talk about, but we have do we, we do we have any idea of which scenario is gonna actually play out? No, nobody knows. There there could there could be some there could be some market maker. There, there's gonna be some definitely some market makers that's gonna like pump Ethereum Classic. Just watch, watch. Just, just, just you guys wait. When Ethereum, like scenario, Ethereum goes to proof of stake, turns off proof of work, Ethereum Classic is gonna have some massive pump, and it's like lo and behold, Ethereum Classic is then gonna be the savior of GPU mining. I I'm just, that's just a scenario that I I'm just thinking of out of my head, out of my head here. Like, imagine that could happen. 
That could happen. Ergo, Ergo could have a massive pump. Could have a massive, massive pump for some reason. Market makers, what have you. Boom. There you go. It's carrying the GPU mining community. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Anyone that's talking about, hey, this is what's going to happen, like, for sure. It, 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 like, don't believe them. Like, don't even, don't even, don't even trust them. Don't even trust me, guys. I don't even, don't trust anybody, okay? Don't trust, don't even trust me. What I'm saying right now, everything I'm talking about here is in theoreticals, okay? It's all in theoretically, like, this kind of thing, these scenarios, everyone's wishing that, you know, Ravencoin will be the next, hopefully, will be the next coin to carry everyone. Hey, I hope so. I, I really hope so. But nobody knows if that's actually going to happen. Okay? that That's just one scenario out of millions of other, thousands of other coins out there that could pump. And lo and behold, BitTube Cash is going to carry the crypto mining community in terms of mining profitability. Ubik is going to carry the whole crypto mining community. Who knows? Flux could even be that. You know, nobody knows, guys. It, it, it's 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 a scenario. It's so many scenarios out there that it's like I I hope it plays out. I hope it plays out, but nobody knows. Nobody knows. You you you, you gotta do you gotta do the way that that makes sense for you, and maybe also some things are also um, some things also talking about you know your strategy for mining right now is it just mining ethereum right you're just mining and hodling it for the future or maybe if you're just gonna mine all these coins and, and you're just mining into bitcoin right bitcoin could be a scenario that some people want to do or you're just mining all these coins and hodling it until the next 10 years like who knows right who knows um mr sale 644 thank you for the donation i just buy four 3060 lhr what is your recommendation uh, I I would my I would try flux mining on that one, man. They're pretty good. Um, Eli Penner, Red Penner, my what happened to your thirty seventy Ti's? I still have them. I still have them. They're good. They're doing good. Uh, when it comes to ETH ASICs, will they just be junk or can they be used still? Uh, K spec two thousand one. Uh, you can s the those those Ethereum ASICs will be able to mine other algorithms such uh sorry, not other algorithms other coins that are the same algorithm all right eth hash you got cork chain e uh, etho metaverse callisto elysium expense ubic uh most likely those asics once ethereum moves off of proof of work is going to move to all of these other uh those other coins rabid mining what's up man any new updates on etc wanting to move to sha3 and be asic dominated uh, rabid mining i i haven't searched up any i haven't heard of anything regarding etc uh yet i know they had the test net up that's the last thing that's the last thing i heard regarding etc moving to sha3 i i, mean, I still think i don't i don't think ethereum classic should move to sha3 so the true king 11 Thank you for the donation. Bitcoin Z happening in 14 days. Where will the price go? Probably the same, man. Probably the same. If it goes up, then I'll give you a hundred dollars. Holy crap, I cannot believe Bitcoin Z was like two, two wow, oh my god, that is, alright, so it is 0 point, point, 0.005826 right now, if it goes to the moon, if it pumps like a general amount, like if it pumps really good, um, the true king i'll give you i'll give you uh i'll give you a hundred bucks you you come back you come back at me next live stream all right the happening in 14 days so the true king the true king see you in two days okay see you in uh, sorry two weeks see you in two weeks it's a bet man it's a bet see you in two weeks hundred hundred bucks okay either way if i'm right you send me a hundred bucks and if i'm wrong i send you a hundred bucks how about that <laughs> Actually, no, don't, you don't need to send me money. Huh? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Uh, Itamaro Osichas. Red Pen of Mine. What do you think of NFT games like Axie Infinity? I think it's cool. I've been wanting to get into Axie Infinity. I just haven't had any time to get into Axie Infinity. So, we'll see. Yeah, I've been, I've been wanting to play it. Um... GTX 1650, nice name. Red Pen of Mining, what's, what, what's about CPU Mining Raptorium? Um, yeah, CPU Mining Raptorium is supposed to be really good. I've been wanting to make a video about it, but I haven't uh, gotten around to it. Um, uh, I've, been, I've been wanting to get around to it. Um, apparently, oh my god, Raptorium just pumped 271%. Whoa! Okay. Congratulations to everyone mining Raptorium. Oh my god. It, wow, okay. Holy smoke. Is Rabid Mining here? Rabid Mining, are you here? Rabid Mining, are you here? What the hell? Wow, look at that, man. You're probably just laughing right now, Rabid Mining. Look at this, Raptorium just pumped to the moon. That means CPU mining is extremely, extremely profitable now. Extremely profitable on CPUs. Yeah. Okay, uh, next question. Best wallet to mine Flux to? Zalcor? Yes. Gulamane, Breton, uh, Zalcor will be your best bet. Um... Uh, let's see here. La, 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 la. Chump change. What are you doing here? Chump change. Get out of here. Um, I have three sitting here. <laughs> Rabbit mining is busy counting all his money right now. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Trying to sell all his bags right now. Uh. What do you think about ADA, Cardano? Free your mind. Uh, I'm not really into Cardano at all, so I don't really, I can't really, I can't really say. Um, uh, just lucky mining, red pen of mining. Do you think mining will always be essential to crypto? Or do you think proof of work will actually be phased out? Seems like most are moving to POS. Um, just lucky mining. Yes, I think proof of work will always be essential to crypto because it is the way that keeps everything in in a decentralized manner. Everyone can participate. Permissionless. You know, everyone can everyone can be involved with a single GPU, and everyone can mine. Whatever they want, not everything, but that's GPU mineable, respectively. So, yeah, just like any mining. I, 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 I think I, I don't see proof of work going away. I, I know Ethereum is moving away from it, but I think it will still be around, even for GPUs as well. Uh, Mike Maruwski, thank you for the donation. Hey, Red Penna, I have 75 4 gigabyte at my ETC farm. Do you think I should switch? To, uh, do you think I should switch to solo mine ETC or switch to Raven? Uh, dude, yeah, you you could probably solo mine Ethereum Classic pretty well, dude. Yeah, that's that's probably really good, man. Um, Ethereum Classic's uh, hash rate is generally still decently low, so yeah, give it give it a try, man. Give it a try on two miners uh, ETH, uh, ETC pool. Um, pocket change. Hi, pocket change. How are you? Um, what is your favorite GPU and why? Uh, I'm gonna say my favorite GPU is the... I'm gonna say it's the Radeon 7s. This GPU holds a very special place in my heart. For many, for many reasons, I've, I've bricked many of these. I've bricked like four, uh, five Radeon Sevens now in my whole life. Um, I've had one hell of a time making these videos. I've had, I have a whole crap load of Radeon Seven videos, and those are probably my funnest videos to make. Um, I love these GPUs, man. These, these GPUs are, 
they're they're a boss like hbm2 memory they're like they're gold these gpus are gold like literally and um they they mine ethereum at 100 mega hash at like i think they're one of the most efficient for mining ethereum at this moment with the um uh, with the Team Red Miner and uh, getting 100 mega hash at about 160 watts. 160 to 180 watts per GPU at the wall. 180 watts for 100 mega hash. These are extremely amazing. And um, now, now that I say that, I'm going to have a disclaimer because some people, new miners, may not, may not understand. Radeon 7s are very sensitive cards. You can brick them very easily. Um, so, uh, manufacturing issues with these, so don't go out and buy Radeon 7s, okay guys? Just, just don't, I, I, can, I say that they're my favorite, but don't go out and buy these because they're, they could die at any moment, okay? They're, they're very, they're very sensitive, so. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, alright, you guys are, you guys are talking smack about me here, let's see this, uh, let's see this, uh. Uh, red pen code 43 neo could toxic you bastard christopher don't laugh at me k spec 2001 red pen mining radeon sevens you are a masochist <laughs> yep 100 percent, man 100 <laughs> percent um uh let's see here nemesis what's up man nemesis good to see you buddy. see good to see you buddy how are you um, chump change. What did you say here, chump change? Theorem Classic. I was so low mining and Rondi and I stopped because it got extremely difficult. You know what else got, you know what else got difficult, chump change? You got difficult. Crypto Dave, are the subtitles new? I don't think I've seen them before on my, on your streams. Oh, really? No, I think that's a, I think it's a caption option. Yeah, captions. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's been there. Pocket change, you're doing well, awesome. Golden Wolf, listen to the love of this cards in his voice. <laughs> Golden Wolf, that's true, man. Radeon Sevens, man. They're the best. They're the best. They're also they're also they're the best and they're also the worst. <laughs> um Okay, uh let's see here. Okay guys, what time is it? Alright, we're we're gonna stream for another five minutes and then we're gonna call it guys. Five more minutes here. Um, uh, ATX expert red pen of mining does switching algorithm constantly to other coins from PP LNS pool hurt profit does switching algorithm constantly to other pools coins from PP also hurt profit. uh ATX uh, expert yes in a sense because PP LNS uh, PP LNS I'm trying to remember is uh, over the long term, over a year of mining, which people say PPLNS should, you know, theoretically make more than PPS mining. Uh, PPS mining actually, whatever shares your GPUs are pumping out is what you're going to be paid for. Okay, so I yeah, it's going to hurt you if you're going to be if you're going to be constantly switching from pool to pool. So it, honestly, it's not a you're, you're no one can ever calculate the difference there like you're gonna have to do a year-long test PPS versus PPLNS and do the do the difference there so um let's see here uh, man you guys does LHR matter in ETC mining uh, a ran yes ETC uh, LHR affects ETC yes ETC hash um, nice to see you happy and not stressed about bots Hey, Metador thanks man uh, screw the bots banning them every day um what coins are you mining at the moment eric i'm mining everything man everything uh hey red panda mining i have a question i have an lhr card if one day it is making more money on ergo than the other day raven i'm really confused about what should what should mine or should i just use nice hash uh fs320 hd what's your long-term goals are you just mining for bitcoin or are you mining for speculation that's pretty much it um, Jeremy Will Willingham, Red Panda Mining, are you going to make a video on 6600 XD Rig to see if it is the most efficient on all coins, not just ETH? Uh, Jeremy, yes, I, I will do that. I, I, oh, Jeremy, I've just been, 
I have so many projects on the go, man. My headspace right now is just all over the place. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to keep up with. I have so many things written down of how, what kind of videos I need to make. So, it'll come. It'll come eventually. It'll come. Uh, Christopher Palazzo, see you, buddy. Dominic, thank you for the donation. Uh, hi, Red Panda. I'm currently constantly expanding my rigs with my profits. At what point do you think I must stop expanding and just hodl? I'm 1.6 giga hash now. Um. Dominic, um, uh, I don't even know how to answer that. I don't even know how to answer that question. Um, uh, I, I can't, I can't give you, I can't give you, an, I can't give you a solid because there's a lot of different scenarios that's going to happen that could happen. Right, if, if if crypto mining still becomes profitable for the next year, two years, then right relative to what what the difficulties are and how much hardware is going to keep coming onto the networks, we're not quite sure, right? So just understand all the different variables that could come and make a decision based on that. And your long term and your long term goals, long term long term goals. Oh, um. Um, let's see here. Do you think bull market is over or will we go higher? No idea, man. Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, hey, can you tell me which GPU should I get right now? 3060 Ti LHR or 3070 LHR for right now for future. Uh, by the way, love what your work is for the community. Thank you, TR1X. Um, I like the 3070 LHR. The 3070 LHR seems to be pretty good. Um, K spec 2000 my red pen of mining. You need a video editor. You are getting to that point, my friend. I know, I know. I'm a perfectionist. I don't like. I like doing things myself, and that's probably gonna be the end of me, probably. So, we'll see. Uh, Metal Gear red pen of mining. Are you excited about mining on Intel GPUs coming next year? Metal Gear. I don't think the Intel GPUs are gonna be that great, but. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. If there's going to be miners supported for Intel, uh, mind you, Metal Gear, uh, those Intel GPUs, there's there has to be kernels, uh, the software development for the Intel GPUs. So G Miner, T Rex, whatever, all those all those software have to support the Intel GPUs if they can even do it or not. Watch the Intel GPUs have like a limiter on them. <laughs> Uh, Max Voltage. Hello. Good sir. Max Voltage. Red Panda Mining. Regarding chasing the most profitable. Everyone is trying to do the same thing so the hash rate follows so difficulty is always changing. Just normal. 100% Max Voltage. I totally agree with you. It's it's always going to change. People are going to... It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy when Ethereum goes... Uh, when Ethereum goes out. Um, Alright. Alright guys. Alright. Golden Wolf, Red Pen of Mining, when you run out of power. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that, hey, Golden Wolf, that's a good thing to Mr. Dominic here. Uh, currently expanding my rigs with my profits. At what point do you think I must stop expanding and just hodl <laughs> until, until you run out of power? Yeah, <laughs> that, that's a, that's a, that's a hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, okay, guys, I'm. I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, is RGB boosting hash rate? That McKay, yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. K spec, red pen of mining. I'm a photographer, twenty plus years, so I totally get the perfectionist part. But there is time when your time is more valuable doing something else. Oh, hundred percent. K spec, K spec, hundred percent. Um. Okay. My friends, hit that like button. Thank you for being here. I totally forgot to do a GPU risers giveaway today. Ah, <sighs> nobody reminded me. Nobody. My mods don't care about you guys. My mods, you guys don't care about me at all. I'm, I'm banning everyone. I'm banning everybody. No one, no one reminds me of anything anymore. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. No. <laughs> GP Risers giveaway next time, guys. Next time.
Okay, Serpent. Good to see you, man. I like your I like your name change, the Serpent Tech. That's awesome. Good stuff. All right. Um I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. RPM, have you tried out the 6700 XT yet? Uh, N N A Gammon, yes I have. I think I made a 6000 series mining rig. Uh, yeah, uh, go ch uh, Garmin, uh, get, uh, sorry I, I butchered your name. Go check out a video I called starting a RX 6000 series mining rig build. Um, I have a 6700 XT. Uh, uh, right there, 6700 XT. I, I do I do a video. I, I did a build of it, and you can see you can see uh, the hash rate and the overclocks that I did on this thing. Um, right there, there you go. My overclocks for my 6700. I'm getting 45 mega hash. Those are my clocks right there. There you go. There you go. Free free info. You don't even have to watch the video. Right there. Um, Lee, how do you like the T-Rex for LHR unlock? I haven't tried it yet. I, I'm going to make a video and try it. Okay, guys, I got a jet. Thank you so much, Yashnik. Yashnik, I love you too, man. I'll see you later. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Tomorrow. Our good one. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a long one. All right. Peace out, guys. Hit that like on the way out. Appreciate you all. Have a good one. And don't... Last thing I'm going to say. Don't don't have any fear in crypto mining. Crypto mining is still great right now compared to what it was. So, peace guys. Peace. Don't worry. Have a good one. Have a good one. Stay safe.